What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I thought I would do something in terms of talking about the week ahead instead of the week we just had. There's actually uh, not too much to discuss in news over the last uh, couple of days over the weekend. There's like Silent Hill rumors, but they are spotty to say the least, and they are getting people into trouble with some higher up companies. So I'm I'm not gonna really uh, take my shot at that one. I want to keep this channel relatively safe, but I do want to talk about what's coming up because really. You look at the week we're about to have, and it's an incredible week. At least I hope it's an incredible week. So the rumors of the PlayStation Showcase, I mean, at this point, I, I think it's pretty unlikely. And in fact, almost, uh, oh, I would say 95% uh, that it's not going to happen this week. That doesn't mean it can't happen next week or get announced this week and happen next week or the week after. But PlayStation Showcase this week, most likely not, but maybe an announcement. On Friday, Friday is kind of like the main day. I believe it's not only the start of D23, but it's also obviously the Disney Marvel Showcase, the Game Showcase, which is an actual live show that's being put on where they're gonna show the games. And we've already talked a little bit about that in past videos. I'm gonna be co-streaming that on podcast now, so that should be a blast. So we have that, D23, also the showcase, and we also have a game that releases Friday in Splatoon 3. Very exciting. I I'm very excited for it. I'm going to be getting it through Amazon, and I'm going to get it physically so it'll come uh, come in the mail. But I'm really excited for it. Uh, we've talked a lot about Splatoon 3 as well on both these channels, and I, I can't wait to get in and just play a different kind of multiplayer game whenever I kind of feel like it, right? Add it to my, I guess, list of games that I almost turn my brain off and I just kind of play them and enjoy them so that happens and also entertainment wise it's also Cobra Kai season 5 which I mean don't even get me started I cannot wait but quick extra thing to add on to that as well is this is the first time I'll actually be watching it not necessarily live but I'll be ready to go when the season you know comes out versus any of these last ones it was when season 4 came out right around that time that I you know I was like you know what I really got to try it I actually watched it on YouTube YouTube, uh, the first couple episodes or the first episode at least and then I jumped over to Netflix and just watched the whole thing so super super excited for that and then Saturday is the Ubisoft forward event which obviously is going to have Assassin's Creed Mirage being the headliner but also really all the other Ubisoft games as well Mario Rabbids Skull and Bones this should be and probably will be the last time we see that game until it releases in early November and uh, we'll see if we get any surprises Splinter Cell obviously you could do uh, Beyond good and evil too we'll talk about my predictions for that as well probably in the main channel and again i'll be co-streaming that event on saturday as well so pretty huge even without a playstation showcase really friday saturday back-to-back -back days is going to be gigantic and then i assume this week just in general you know tuesday through friday we're gonna get stuff d23 obviously brings with it live action things uh you know I, i'm secretly always you know hopeful for a pirates of the caribbean announcement in one way or another obviously you have the marvel stuff of you know they're, they're gonna announce the fantastic forecast and, and all that so it should be a pretty awesome at the very least Friday, Saturday, but I'm sure the uh, you, as we're into September now, as we're into the fall, things are, I think, really going to start picking up because not only is there promotion for the 25 games that were released between now and the end of the year and the Game Awards and, you know, all of this other stuff, PlayStation may have an event, Nintendo Direct probably happens in a few weeks, right? So not only do you have all the promotion for all that stuff, but you have news for everything else, and then you have to get ready for 2023, which should be pretty gigantic for both games and, uh, you know, entertainment in general. Let me know what you guys are excited for later on in the week. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up, and I hope to see you all on the next one.